connection. Hopefully, I'm me. I'm Amy. I have a blog at hearthandcaravan.com. I like to share about travel and essential oils and homesteading. And tonight, I'm drinking some water. And I'm also <laughs> sharing a pre-shave and after-shave uh, DIY recipe with you all. It's going to be really fun. This is great for guys. If you have men in your life that shave their face often, um, it's also great for women too. But um, this is just a good fun DIY that you can give as a gift for a man and also you can put this together with like a shave brush make some um, shave soap you could put make like a whole big kit and just add these two things it would be really really cool so first things first I'm looking to see if I've got everything handy all right I have two empty 15 mil bottles so what you should know is that these 15 ml bottles are about half an ounce. That means this recipe is really easy to double, triple, quadruple, whatever. Whatever size bottle you have, that makes it super simple to resize it based on your particular bottle. Okay, so I'm just taking the labels off these real quick so I don't get them mixed up with anything else. Two empty oil bottles, and I tried to pick something that was kind of manly because I'm going to give these to Nathan. So I got lavender and cedarwood here as, as my empties. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna introduce you to um, after I've got those two things done, so my two empty oil bottles, is the handful of ingredients that you'll need tonight. Okay, so for the, for the pre-shave, you're gonna use olive oil, which we buy in bulk, <laughs> olive oil. And for the aftershave, you're gonna use witch hazel. And to those things, you're going to add some essential oils and some vitamin E. Hopefully, I've got vitamin E. If I don't, I do. I was going to say, if I don't, I would just skip it. Just something you should know that, that I do is I just uh, I use what I've got and I skip it if I don't have it, if it'll still work. Um, and it will. But I do have some vitamin E capsules, so I am going to make sure I add a little bit of vitamin E to each one of these bottles because it is so good for your skin and this is going on your skin. Okay. You grab a couple of these out and I'll show them to you. So this is just some like cheap vitamin E from the store. And I've got two of these little capsules and I'm going to cut them open and put them into my bottle as I go. Okay, but the first things first. We're going to do our pre-shave. Very simple recipe. So this is a um, 15 milliliter bottle, which is about half an ounce. Um, so depending on your bottle, you could have, I know it's super easy to get one and two ounce spray bottles from Amazon. That may be what you have. So just, you know, double your recipe to, to fit your bottle. Um, so I'm going to add almost, I'm going to almost fill it up with the olive oil. But I think I'm going to put my essential oils in first. That way um, I don't overflow it <laughs> and my oil spill out the top. So I'm going to look at my recipe real quick and see how many drops, six, so six drops of oils is all I'm going to use of essential oil and one vitamin E capsule. So the manliest, <laughs> the manliest scents in the world are these three right here. And I love them personally too. So they're not just for men. Um, I love and wear and use them all the time. <laughs> they just smell good to everyone. Um, but Northern Lights Black Spruce is really just a phenomenal fragrance it's um just trees and woods and wonderful valor is our <laughs> it's like not even contested it's the favorite oil it's amazing everybody should have valor it's good for so many things especially uh emotional calming um any any type of thing like that and then Shutron is amazingly manly it smells fabulous and we've got a brand new bottle so I'm gonna open it up and just smell it oh I do love Shutron okay so anyhow we're gonna put um, Northern Lights black spruce in our pre-shave just because um, this is gonna get shaved off anyway so it doesn't have to be necessarily any specific oil you could use lavender just as easily um, but we're gonna use this one because I like it so much it smells so good so we're gonna use six drops of Northern Lights Black Spruce, three, four, five, six. If you don't, if all you have is your starter kit, I would use lavender for sure, very easily. It's going to be a wonderful choice for your skin. Okay, so after that, 
we're going to cut open our little vitamin E capsule. Ooh, there it goes, and I'm just going to squeeze it right in. Oh, and I missed. How does that happen? I was right on top of it. <laughs> okay, I got most of it in there. Alrighty. A little bit of paper towel for cleanup. And then I'm going to add on top of that, since this is the pre-shave, we're going to do the olive oil right on top. So that's got six drops of our essential oil, a capsule of vitamin E, and now our olive oil. We're going to fill this up to, up to the top. And that is done. That is your pre-shave. Such a simple recipe. Fairly inexpensive. I mean, the cost of olive oil in an empty bottle plus six drops of essential oil. It's still going to be really fragrant and like, and really a good choice. Um, but just so easy. And these little bottles make things so beautiful too. They make really good gifts. I love anything in amber glass because I think it looks legit. <laughs> Does anybody else feel that way? I just saw some ball jars, um, like canning jars the other day that are amber glass. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get them. I didn't, but I was like so tempted to get them because they look, everything looks more legitimate when it's in amber glass. And I have this little dropper that screws right on to my 15 mil bottle. I got this at gotoilsupplies.com. And if you've been keeping up with anything that's been going on, I have that linked in a blog post that it has everything listed that you need. So if you need that, just let me know and I'll, I'll do, oh, whoops, that has the little plastic thing on too, so I gotta take it off. So I'm gonna take that off too. And then you're just gonna put this on all the way. There it goes, snaps down over that. And now we have a little dropper bottle of our pre-shave, and we'll just put a few drops in your hand and let your husband, you know. Ugh, oh, I love it. Okay, so second. The aftershave is just a smidgen different. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> same easy recipe, just using witch hazel instead of olive oil. So that's going to make this um, really easy. And I'm going to use it with a spray top instead of a dropper top. Because you, can, you can't spray olive oil so easily. It kind of clogs up. But um, the other is... Very, and I was gonna let me show you a real tip, quick tip. This is super sticky where I've just peeled the label off. So I'm gonna grab some lemon essential oil here and just put the, a few drops right on my bottle and scrub that sticky off. I can't stand that sticky feeling on my hands. It was driving me up the wall. All right, it comes off so easy now. I love, love, love that tip. If you don't have lemon essential oil, at least it's so inexpensive and it does. So many things. And now it's not sticky anymore. It was like way faster than Goo Gone. Um, <laughs> so amazing. Okay. So I've got the sticky off my bottle. And now I'm going to add my essential oils. For the aftershave, we're going to use Valor. Because that's something we want to leave on our bodies all day long. <laughs> Where the uh, pre-shave, we're going to kind of wash and shave off. Um, it is, You can kind of have more flexibility with what flavor what flavor, what fragrance you choose. Um, but for the aftershave, pick something you want to smell. So we're going to choose uh, Valor for this one, and we're going to do six drops of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I love that Valor comes out blue. <laughs> Isn't that just so fun? Like you can see inside the cap here, how blue it is. It's because it has blue tansy in it. Okay, that's just one of the few ingredients. We're going to cut open one more of our vitamin E capsules. I'm going to try really hard to get that into, <laughs> into the bottle instead of on it. Oh, yeah. We got it this time. Okay. And we're going to fill it to the top with witch hazel. All right. And so to put, to finish this one up, Oh, where have I said it? Right here beside me. I'm going to add a spray top to it. I've been using a ton of these this week. They're so handy. These little, that's the wrong thing, I think. That's the pump. There's a spray top in here somewhere. There it is. So these have been super handy. They screw right on to your 5 or 15 mil bottles and you just cut this little plastic piece to size. So I'm going to 
going to hold this up. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. I'm going to hold it up like this, right beside where it's going to screw down. And I'm going to cut it even with the bottom of the bottle. And I'm going to let that just kind of, I'm going to kind of cut it at an angle and let that fly. Okay. All right, we've got that set. All of our things are in here. And we're just going to close our spray bottle up. So this is going to be our aftershave. So you have a pre and aftershave. Isn't that the cutest little thing? I might go back and take this white off because it's black up here and it doesn't match. But um, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But it makes such a cute little gift with a couple labels on there, printable labels. I might make some and share them with you this week. I don't know. I don't know when I would do that, but um, I'll think about it. <laughs> anyway, this would make a an adorable gift for any person you know, any man in your life or any body you know that shaves at all and then um, tie it up with a little uh, ribbon or put it in a stocking I don't know if you do anything with it so I love this idea and both of these are going to smell so good okay so that is it tonight guys that's the end of our skin savers this week if you've missed any skin savers go back and check them out we used our um, two ingredient body butter last night and it's already amazing um, it I will caution you though if you've made that one you're gonna want to keep it somewhere really cool apparently our house is not very cool especially when we get to cooking in the kitchen so we need to keep it in a little bit cooler of a spot other than that it's still amazing I think most everything I've made this week we've really enjoyed I don't think there's any super big duds um, last last week the there was one dud and that was the <laughs> that was the um, gym bag tabs they did not hold together at all so I'm working on a new recipe for that one I still think it's a good idea we just need to get something that's gonna hold together a little bit better and so that's pretty much uh, how the week's going if you missed the recap everything from last week is all summed up nice and neat into a big long blog post all of videos and recipes written out and everything like that so if you missed that um, it's on my page just scroll back a little bit and you'll find it or if you're on my email list you already have it and uh, that being said if you are interested in uh, anything related to anything at all that I'm doing get on that email list because I'm gonna send it out to you and you won't have to go hunting for it um, secondly if you don't have essential oils and you've ever thought about doing some stuff like this making some of your own bath and body products some of your household products and saving a little bit of money that way um, making some of your own gifts at Christmas time you know send me a message and I'll um, hook you up because there's right now there's actually a 10% discount on one of our best kits um, which is pretty cool and then other than that I think that's it tonight guys next week we're gonna have a really fun week we've got lots of fun uh, things to make and I'll be back on tomorrow I'm hoping to pop on and do a giveaway really quick um, from the first week <laughs> so I'm gonna give away the two lip balms that I made the um, lip plumper and the tinted lip balm if you've liked shared or commented on anything in the first week you're entered into that contest as well and I'm gonna do a giveaway to someone um, who participated last week and then this week we'll do this giveaway for this week on um, this next Saturday so I think it was a lot of fast talking tonight <laughs> but hopefully I covered everything and always as always um, if you have any questions about anything just send me a message uh, I will respond to messages and everybody have a wonderful Friday night. Hopefully you all are doing well and safe where you are. Um, and yeah, alrighty guys, talk to you later.